Morgan and featuring a full cast. This adaptation is for fun and fandom only, not for profit. The Empyrean series and its characters belong to the brilliant Rebecca Yaros. Welcome to the Fourth Wing. Chapter 9 I will not die today. Violet Soaringale's personal addendum to the Book of Brennan. I'm so completely screwed. Zayden walks onto the mat, all six foot everything of him, and my heart starts to beat like my body knows the truth my mind hasn't accepted yet. I'm about to have my ass kicked, or worse. He's not in my squad. He can kill me without punishment. A corner of Zayden's mouth rises in a smirk, and the gold flecks in his eyes seem to dance. The sadistic ass is enjoying this. A little out of her league, don't you think? Dane argues from the side of the mat. Zayden looks at him over my shoulder. Relax, Atos. She'll be in one piece when I'm finished. Teaching her. I hardly think that's fair. No one asked you to think, squad leader. He moves to the side, discarding every weapon on his body. And there's a lot of them. You don't think you're gonna need those? Nope. Not when you brought enough for the both of us. A wicked smile curves his mouth as he stretches out his hand and curls his fingers in a come-hither motion. Let's go. Fine. I fling a dagger straight at his ridiculously well-sculpted chest. He fucking catches it and clucks his tongue. Already seen that move. Holy shit, is he fast. I'll have to be faster. I move forward in a swipe and kick combo Rhiannon taught me. He artfully dodges my blade and then captures my leg. The earth spins and I slam onto my back. The sudden impact driving the air from my lungs. But he doesn't go for the kill. Instead, he takes my dagger, drops it to the mat, and kicks it off. Is he disarming me just to prove that he can? I go for his thigh with my next blade. <clears throat> he blocks my strike with his forearm, then grips my wrist with his opposite hand and plucks the knife away from me, <clears throat> leaning down so his face is only inches from mine. Ah, going for blood today, are we? Violence. My name is Violet. I think my version fits you better. He releases my wrist and stands. Offering me his hand. We're not done yet. I still haven't recovered from the way he's knocked the wind out of me. So I take the offering. He tugs me to my feet, then twists my arm behind my back and yanks me against his hard chest. (laughs) Pinning our joined hands. There's a tug at my thigh, and another of my daggers is pressed to my throat as his chest rests against the back of my head. Don't trust a single person who faces you on this mat. (laughs) What if that person owes me a favor? (laughs) (laughs) I'm the one who decides when to grant that favor. Not you. He drops the third dagger he's taken from me and kicks it forward. I take the moment to whirl, punching for his throat, and he knocks my hand aside. God. Going for the throat is your best option. As long as it's exposed. Fury makes me kick out again in the same pattern. Muscle memory taking over. And he captures that leg again. This time snatching the dagger sheet there and dropping it to the mat before he lets me go. Cocking a disappointed eyebrow at me. I expect you to learn from your mistakes. He kicks it away. Five left. All at my ribs. Gripping one and putting my hands up defensively, I begin to circle him. 
and to my absolute annoyance, he doesn't even bother facing me. Fuck him. I punch forward. <laughs> he dips, and my knife sails over his shoulder. My stomach drops as he grips my arm, <laughs> yanking me forward and flipping me around the side of his body. <clears throat> I'm airborne for a heartbeat. <gasps> Before I smack into the mat, <clears throat> my ribs taking the impact. He cranks my arm into a submission hold, <sighs> and white hot pain shoots down the limb. I drop the dagger, but he's not done. His knee is in my ribs, and though he holds my arm captive with one hand, the other plucks a dagger from its sheath and flicks it toward Dane's feet before taking another and holding it to the tender area where my jaw meets my neck. Taking out your enemy before the battle is really smart. I'll give you that. Oh, God. He knows what I've been doing. He scrapes the tip of the dagger down my neck, but there's no trickle of blood, so I know he hasn't cut me. Problem is, if you aren't testing yourself in here, then you're not going to get any better. Wouldn't you rather I just die? And be denied the pleasure of your company? I fucking hate you. That doesn't make you special. The pressure releases from my chest and arm as he gets on his feet, kicking both daggers toward Dane. Two more. I only have two more. Ignoring Zayden's outstretched hand, I gain my feet, and his lips curve into an approving smile. She can be taught. I don't think. I just act, going low and kicking out the backs of his knees. <clears throat> <clears throat> he goes down like a tree, the sound more than satisfying. And I pounce, <clears throat> trying for a headlock, <clears throat> catching his throat in the crook of my elbow. I squeeze. <clears throat> Instead of going for my arms, he twists, grabbing a hold of the backs of my thighs so I lose leverage and our bodies careen into a roll. He comes out on top. His forearm rests against my throat, not cutting off air, but definitely capable of it. And his hips have mine pinned. My legs useless on either side of his as he lies heavily between my thighs. My whole world narrows to the arrogant glint in his eye. He's all I can see. All I can feel. And I can't let him win. I slip one of my last daggers free and go for his shoulder. <clears throat> He seizes my wrist and pins it above my head. Shit. Heat rushes up my neck, and flames lick my cheeks as he lowers his face so his lips are only inches from mine. I can make out every speck of gold in those onyx eyes. Every bump and ridge of his scar. My body warms. The traitorous bitch. I'm not attracted to toxic men. He pushes his fingers into my fist, <clears throat> forcing it open, and then sends the blade skittering across the mat before letting go of my wrist. Get your dagger. Huh? Get. Your. Dagger. He takes my hand in his, and retrieves the last blade I have. His fingers curl over mine, clasping the hilt. Fire races along my skin at the feel of his fingers lacing with mine. Toxic. Dangerous. Wants to kill me. 
doesn't matter. You're tiny. Well aware. So stop going for bigger moves that expose you. He drags the tip of the dagger down his side. A rib shot would have worked just fine. Kidneys are a good fit from this angle too. I swallow, <clears throat> trying not to think about what other things would be a good fit at this angle. He leads our hands to his waist, his gaze never leaving mine. Chances are, if your opponent is in armor, it's weak here. Those are three easy places you could have struck before your opponent would have had time to stop you. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Good. My muscles lock, including my thighs, which just happen to still be bracketing his hips. <laughs> his eyes darken. Because you can't poison every enemy you come across. You're not going to have time to offer tea to some bravey griffin rider when they come at you. How did you know? No oh, violence, you're good. But I've known better poison masters. The trick is to not make it quite so obvious. I think she's been taught enough for the day. Oh, right. Class. He always that overprotective. He cares about me. He's holding you back. Don't worry. Your little poisoning secret is safe with me. Zayden arches a brow, as if to remind me that I'm the keeper of one of his secrets, too. Then, he guides our hands back to my ribs and slides the ruby-hilted blade back into its sheath. The move is unnervingly hot. You're not gonna take my last dagger? Nope. Defenseless women have never been my type. He releases his grip and pushes up, removing his weight from my body. I roll to my knees. Every part of my body hurts, but I manage to stand. There's pure relief in Dane's eyes when I reach his side to retrieve the daggers Satan took from me. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. My fingers tremble as I rearm myself. He's had every chance and every reason to kill me. And now he's let me walk away. Twice? What kind of game is he playing? Hey, Tos. Dane's head whips in his direction. She could use a little less protection and a little more instruction. We're done for today. Later that night, I find myself in Dane's bed. His blankets are soft on my belly, and I'm bare from the waist up. Well, except for the constricting band around my chest and ribs that I got from my trip to the healer quadrant, as Dane digs his thumbs into the sore muscle of my shoulder. Ah, uh, that hurts so good. I'm just surprised he let you live. Well, he could hardly command respect by snapping my neck on the mat. Besides, that's not his way. Dane's hands pause on my skin. Because you know what his way is? No. Just facing the facts, he's had plenty of chances to take me out. Do you think he even could be plotting against Navarre if he bonded Scale? I did, at first. But then I bonded Kath, and I realized dragons would do anything to protect the Vale. There's no way any dragon would have bonded Ryerson or any of the Separatists if they weren't honest about protecting Navarre. Would a dragon know if you're lying? Yeah. Kath would know because he's in my head. It's impossible to hide something like that from your dragon. Is he always in your head? I know it's against the rules to ask. Almost everything about bonds are off-limits for discussion, given how secretive dragons are. But 
it's Dane. Yeah, I can block him out if I need to. They'll teach you that after threshing. His expression falls. I sit up, sliding one of his pillows across my chest and leaning back against the headboard. What is it? I talked to Colonel Markham this evening. Is everything okay? I told him that I think Ryerson wants to kill you. Oh, well, that's not really news, is it? Everyone who's read a history of the Rebellion can put two and two together, Dane. Yeah, well, I told him about Barlow, too. And Cypher. Don't think I didn't notice the way Seifert shoved you into the wall before formation this morning. He's just still pissed that I beat him at that first challenge. And Rhiannon told me you found crushed flowers <sighs> on your bed last week? They were just dead flowers. They were mutilated violets. It's not like they came with a death note or anything. They're threats. Every cadet gets threatened. Every cadet doesn't have to wrap their knees every day. That's fair. Why would you tell Markham about it anyway? He's a scribe. He said he'd still take you. What? I asked him if he'd allow you into the scribe quadrant for your own safety, and he said yes. They'd put you with the first ears. You... what? I saw a way to get you out of danger, and I took it. You went behind my back. Because you think I'm not cutting it. The truth of the words tightens around my chest like a vice. Dane knows me better than anyone. And if he still thinks I can't do this, after I've made it this far, tears well in my eyes, but I refuse to let them fall. Instead, I tuck my chin, grab my dragon scale vest, pull it over my head, then wrench the laces together at the small of my back and start tying them. I never said I don't think you can cut it, Violet. You say it every day. You say it when you walk me from formation to class, which I know makes you late for flight time. You say it when you yell at your wing leader for taking me to the he mat. He had no right He's to. He's my wing leader. I shrug my tunic over my head. He does have the right to do whatever he wants, including execute me. And that's why you need to get the hell out of here. I've been watching Vi. He's just toying with you, like a cat plays with a mouse before the kill. I've held my own so far. I've won every challenge. Except today when he wiped the floor with you time and again. Or did you miss the part where he took every weapon so you knew exactly how easy it is to defeat you? I was there. I've survived almost two months in this place, which is more than I can say for a fourth of my year. Do you know what happens at threshing? Do you think I'm an idiot? They throw every first year into the training grounds, and then the second and third years are supposed to watch as you decide which dragons to approach and which to run from. I already fucking know that. Yeah, well, while the riders are watching, the first years are taking out their vendettas and eliminating any liabilities to the wing. I'm not a damn liability. I'm not. Not to me. His hand cups my cheek. But they don't know you the way I do, Vi. And while the first years, like Barlow and Cypher, are hunting you, we'll have to watch. I'll have to watch, Violet. Dane. We're not allowed to help you. To save you. Markham says that he'll put you through the first year without telling your mother. By the time she finds out, You'll already be inducted as a scribe. There's nothing she can do after that. He lifts his other hand so he's holding my face between both palms, tipping it up toward his. I can't lose you, Violet. If you won't do it for yourself, then do it for me. He rests his forehead against mine. I squeeze my eyes shut. Just promise me you'll think about it. We still have four weeks until threshing. Just think about it. I'll think about it. <laughs>